Hey everyone, welcome to Move with James. I'm James. In this flowing Qigong practice, we're going to explore movements and forms which are really centering and grounding. So if you're feeling really stressed or anxious, these movements are hopefully going to bring you a sense of calm, a greater feeling of well-being, and just feeling a bit more comfortable and rested in your skin again. Let's move gently and mindfully together. So folks, we're going to be standing for this practice. Let's start off with the feet about shoulder width apart and the inside edges of your feet pretty much parallel to each other. For a moment, let's rock forwards and back on the feet. And we're getting a sense of the foot on the ground, a quality of rooting, sometimes called shren in the practice, rooting and sinking down, feeling connected to the ground. Start to center your weight on the feet. What I mean by that is sensing if you're a bit too far to one side or the other, or maybe you're a little bit back weighted in the heels or a bit more weighted to the front of the foot. And could you find a point where the weight feels evenly distributed the center of the foot. From here, slight bend in your knees. When you look down, you should be able to see at least your toenails and probably most of your toes in front of your knees. So have a little check. And then from here, I'm going to invite you to bring the hands just in front of the body as we begin. Imagine you're standing in a clear, calm lake. You're going to rest your palms on the surface of the water of that lake. The hands are receptive, a little bit active, but not tense. Could you imagine very gently placing the hands on the water and slowly trace the hands over to your left and gently trace them to the right. You could imagine you're making the smallest of ripples on the surface of the lake. Maybe you imagine you're surrounded by beautiful mountains or forests. And you're in a very safe, calm space. And safe in the arms of nature. Somewhere very gentle and beautiful. And as your hands slowly skim the surface of the water in this practice, you could imagine that you are a little bit like the water yourself. Fluid, soft, flexible. Able to change, able to adapt. And that's the strength of water. It's adaptability. As you practice this form, sometimes I've heard it called water ways, the ways of water. As you practice, start to breathe deep down into your belly, really breathing low. You can allow the belly to fill and expand. And that sense of cultivating energy or chi through the breath deep in the belly. Knees are still a little bit unlocked. And that can feel like work when you're newer to the practice. But your joints get healthy and strong the more that we do. So in a moment, start to come back to center. And this time, allow the hands to face each other. Imagine you're holding the orb of the full moon, gently glowing in your palms. We're going to carry the moon over to the right and offer the moon up to the sky. As you reach gently, could you lift the left heel? So lift the heel off the ground, look up towards the hands. The elbows stay a little bit bent, the knees are still slightly bent. But then return the heel, return the hands to center. And let's carry the moon to the other side, reaching, lifting. Right heel lifts. 
And slowly back to center, soften the knees. We continue. As you reach, lift the opposite heel. Sense that length, that lift, the rise. As you return, lower the heel, sense the root, the shen, sinking, rising, and always returning to your roots, always returning to your roots. This is sometimes called carrying the moon. We imagine tracing the luminous orb of the pale moon, carrying her side to side. We're doing this in the most relaxed way possible. So notice if you're kind of over-efforting, if you're really reaching and trying to get far, you could kind of smile to yourself a little bit. Ah, okay, that pattern. I have that pattern of sometimes overstretching, trying to do more, rather than just enjoying the simple pleasure of the moment, carrying the moon. And I think for me, what this form teaches me is that in order to rise, to reach out, to lift, I have to constantly return to my roots, the things which make me feel safe, which make me feel steady in life, whatever they may be, creativity, practice, time with loved ones. And we're only able to rise as much as we're able to root. So the two go together. Last time. And now returning to center. Let's take a moment here, hands face each other. Slowly step your feet wider into what's called a horse stance. So wider than your shoulders. The toes can turn out a tiny bit but the knees are bent confidently, like you are riding a steed, a horse, or maybe it's a more modest pony. Let's be realistic. Maybe it's a nice, gentle pony, right? <laughs> With the legs wide, just watch out for sticking your bum out. Sometimes this happens. Could you gently send the tailbone down? I quite like sometimes to stroke down my lower back, down my sacrum, my tailbone, to get that feeling like water was gently pouring down my back, allowing my lower back to be nice and open and long. From here, start to cross the wrists. Breathe in. We rise together. Turn the palms out as you breathe out. Breathing in. Breathing out. In this form, parting clouds, Imagining separating clouds with the hands, you reaching up into the atmosphere and creating a little blue sky around you. I sometimes like to imagine that my fingertips trickle down like friendly raindrops. But again, there's the lift, the rise. And then the roots soften the knees, soften the chest. So the heart is settled. It's not constantly lifted up and out. It always returns home. It always settles down in the chest. And this is sometimes called dropping the chi or sinking the chi. In the sense of rooting, centering, rather than being super active and dynamic and ah, reaching out all the time. There's this gentle balance between reaching up and out, but always regulating and returning. This time as the arms come up, we're going to pause here. Start to drop your left arm to the side. We're going to take a side bend and gently curl the arms around and then sway to the other side. As you sway side to side, see how fluid the arms could feel, like a seaweed, 
I've said this before, like wakami, wakami arms, like seaweed arms, gently blowing in friendly currents. Or maybe you're still standing in your lake with the mountains around you and the forest and there's seaweeds gently rippling under the water. And this time as you come over to your right, pause here, keep the arms where they are, but centre your spine. The hands now travel towards each other, like you could create a ball of light at the heart. As you breathe in, lengthen the legs, expand the chest, reach out, but then exhale, fold across the wrists below, circle the arms back up two more times, folding, knees soft. Like you're drawing giant ripples. This time as the arms lift, start to drop the right arm out to the side. Soften the knees, seaweed arm. I don't think that's the official name for this, but it's the one I've come to love. <laughs> but using natural imagery for me is really helpful in the practice. It helps me find the beauty and the grace that the practice can offer and the feeling of that. And the beauty and the grace of nature. This time, coming one more time over to the left. And the bottom hand, it's like it scoops energy from the earth. Top hand scoops energy from the sky and draws together the sky and the earth at the heart. The quality of the earth, grounded, rooted, nourishing. The quality of the sky, open, expansive, creative. Mixing those energies at the heart. And then we offer that out to the world, not keeping it for ourselves, but offering that as a gift, bowing to the world, and knowing that we receive back whatever we give out even more abundantly. One more. And the fingertips trickle down like friendly raindrops back. To the center. Step the feet in. From here we're going to take a practice called the bone marrow cleanse. The idea is we imagine shining energy or chi through our organs, our bones, even down to the bone marrow, building health and immunity through mental attitude and intention. To start off with, could you bring the back of your left hand to the lower back, like you could plug it in. And then the right hand is going to reach out to the side very slowly, elbow soft, palm soft. And now start to bring the back of the hand just in front of the third eye point. And then turn the palm up towards the heavens and bring the palm to face the sky above the crown of the head. Knees soft. Notice the tendency to puff the chest out here. See if you could relax the chest down. Slowly turn the hand that's above down and now gently glide the hand in front of the body, just in front of the skin, almost close enough to feel the warmth of the palm. Down the throat and slowly scanning in front of the organs, the pelvis and shining towards the ground a little bit to the earth. Slowly switch sides, left arm comes out. The breath is slow, simple, but deep. Back of the hand in front. Palm turns up. The palm hovers above a point uh, known in Chinese medicine as Bai Hui, the hundred meeting points. It's where all the meridians of the body meet in the crown of the head. The palm is collecting heavenly chi, the quality of the sky and the heavens above. 
And now we turn the palm down, almost like we're giving ourselves a rain shower with the chi, and slowly shine that energy down through the face, the eyes, the throat, heart and lungs, organs, digestive system, pelvic organs, and to the earth. Let's go one more time each side. The bone marrow cleanse. Connecting to third eye. Connecting to the heavens. The feet connect to the earth. Shine down. And imagine you could shine health, healing, refreshment, all the way down through your precious organs. And we switch sides. Shining heavenly chi, coming to wash away the tensions, the tiredness, the anxieties. Wash away your anxieties and doubts. Trust in the cosmos. And for the finale, we use both hands. Both hands now come out, gently reaching into space. Confident to stand quietly where you are in life. Backs of the hands float in front of each other. Both palms turn up like a pillar between earth and sky. Standing in your strength, even if you feel like it's not there, it is. Trusting in that. The palms turn down. An extra slow this time, just in front of the skin. The idea of healing or kindness or friendliness. And as you move down the body, if there's an area that feels like it could benefit from a little extra chi, you might feel the hands drawn to that area and maybe you pause for a few breaths. And perhaps offering sentiments of kindness or friendliness to yourself. May I be well, may I be healthy. May I be happy, or may I be at peace. Take as long as you need. When you feel like you're done, just resting one hand on top of the other at the belly if that feels okay, lower belly. If that doesn't feel so comfortable, you could simply rest the arms here. You might close the eyes for a moment. Sense yourself standing firmly, calmly. And to close, we'll take the centering practice. So from here, bring your left hand below and start to offer your right hand out to the side and overhead. This time the right hand, fingers close, thumb closes into kind of a line Slowly draw a line down the front of the body and the hand rests just above the bottom hand, centering. Gently switch the hands and again drawing a line, close the left fingers and thumb, drawing yourself into your centre, that place that no one can reach apart from you, and safety deep inside, continue. And 
one more time each side. And focusing on the things which uplift you, just bring you that feeling of balance or harmony. And centering yourself on those things. Pause here. Take a breath in through your nose, out through your mouth. Release the hands. Just for a moment, just hold your hands behind your back. Just catch one wrist. Just take a little circle with the hips over the ankles. You could let the feet lift a bit. Move the knees, the back, and then go the other way. And from here, stepping the feet in close. And if it feels good, you might rest the hands at the heart. Just taking a little bow to close the practice. And we'll finish here. So I hope this practice brings you a sense of calm and balance and a way to return back to center. This idea that the peace we seek is always here beneath the surface, sometimes just takes a little bit of time to move and to breathe and come back to who we really are. Please leave me feedback below if you have any comments. I'd love to hear from you. Otherwise, I wish you beautiful, calm, abundant energy for the rest of your day and week. Thank you.